hi guys welcome to that's design channel in this video i will show you how to make this exercise and this exercise name is mounting bracket okay let me show you the dimension for this part modeling okay we are now in the interface from solidworks and let's start to modeling part and I want to start from the top plane and I want to click on normal tool at this one I want to click sketch and select a midpoint line and go to the option and click a for construction line right click and click select and I want to give the smart dimension for this line and it is 80 millimeter then click OK from modify box. For the next step, I want to add a line. Just click for construction line and I want to make it a vertical. Right click and click select and give the dimension for this line and it is 50 millimeter. And then click OK from to make the distance. and then click ok and i want to make a circle from this point this circle has a 13 for the diameter and i wanted to make it equal to the other line other circle by click control and hold in your keyboard and then click this circle then click equal for the next step I want to make a larger one And give the dimension and it is a uh, 30 millimeter for the diameter and I want to make the same way to the other by click and hold the control and your keyboard and then click to the other line and click equal okay for the next step and I want to make a uh, like a circle to turn into this circle by click three point arch you can follow to this instruction and I want to make the radius is 65 millimeter and then click ok for the next step click a control and hold in this keyboard and then click this line and this circle too and go to the add relation and make it tangent in for the next step make it the same way to this one okay you will see if this there are a connect you can click a trim entities and go to power trim then make it to length this line and I want to and I want to remove this line from this position by click trim entities and then just trim to closest and then click OK
For the next step, I want to mirror this line by click on mirror entities, mirror what, and choose this line, and from entities to mirror, click to this line, and then click OK. OK, and I want to make a line and start from this one point. I want to connect to this one. Right click and click select. And I want to give the dimension for this vertical line. It is 22 millimeter. And then click OK. Okay, for the next step, click trim entities and make sure you select the trim to closest. And then click to this one at uh, this line to remove that. Okay, and then click OK. For the next step, I want to make the thickness by click of features and then click the extrude boss. Set the value is 10 millimeter and then click OK. I want to make a fillet for this part in the top surface by click fillet. And the dimension is three millimeter. Okay. You can see the preview for this fillet and then click OK. For the next step, I want to make a sketch from the surface by click the surface and go to normal tool and click once more. And then click the sketch on to make a line, but for construction line. I just want to make a vertical line. All right, click select. And I want to add a horizontal line, but it's for construction to make its guideline. Click and select the distance for this line to the surface. It is 20 millimeter, and then click OK. For the next step, I want to make a uh, four construction line too, and just select this circle this line and click to this right click the line have a uh, the line has 30 degrees for the distance to the other line and then give the smart dimension this line to this line and it is 10 millimeter at the modify box and then click OK. Okay, and I want to give the dimension for this length line and it is 50 millimeter and then click OK. For the next step, I want to make I want to make a straight slot. Just click to this line and to this line. And I want to give a smart dimension for this distance. And it is 13 millimeter. And then click OK. Okay, for the next step, 
I want to make a circle from this point and click the smart dimension and make it 30 millimeter then click OK OK and the next step I want to click a line and make from this point just make to this point and click select and press and hold the control button in your keyboard then click to this circle and then make it tangent then click ok and I want to trim this line and make sure the trim to closest and then click to this line click ok ok for the next step click the line and click or start from this point and then click to this line and this line for the next step just make the length is run with this right click and click select press and hold the control button on your keyboard click this line and click to the circle make it tangent then click ok and you can trim to this line and then click ok and I want to trim to this one too okay you will see the blue from its preview will like this for the next step I want to make the thickness by click a features and click extrude boss make sure you set a value it's 10 millimeter and then click OK for the next step I want to fill it this surface by click this and go to fill it make it 3 millimeter and then click OK if you want to change the appearance you can click the edit appearance from this toolbox and then I want to make it pink from its color and then click OK okay guys finally this tutorial is done I hope you like this video and support this channel and the last see you next time